Eruption of the Sununka crater chain in the Reckoners Peninsula of Iceland related to the Swartzengi volcanic system is continuing strong. The input of the magma at the moment it seems is from the deep reservoir sitting on the top of the mantle. And we have the risk of the gas pollution mostly because the air pressure is low, you see a lot of wind and this is barely low practically. And when the speed of wind is high, that means the pressure is low. So the pressure from inside the magma is stronger, magma erupts more vigorous and releases more gas easier. And the resulting lava is also extremely vesiculated. Usually they have a lot of gas in them, volatiles we call them, including the heaviest one of them is the sulfur. They extend in toward the south, toward the Grindovik, a town which has suffered already a rot. And the uh, uh, gas pollution for today will be extremely high all through the Iceland, not because of this direction of the wind toward the south, it's because of the eruptions in the Alaska and the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula. These uh, uh, sulfur dioxide gases from those volcanoes in that area, which are really huge, are coming toward the northern hemisphere all around, circulating there. It's better not to go out, or if you have to go out, breathe with your nose. The bacteria in the nose will neutralize the sulfur dioxide, most of it. If you inhale with the lung, you will feel some sensation of burning. Don't get kids or small animals, pets, things like that. They are close to the ground outside also because the closer to the ground gas concentrates near the ground they may get harmed